been sick for a while now. Yes, I've been feeling quite sick lately. I feel like I'm very badly sick, but I don't know what medicine to take. You know, do you have any medicine I could take? I have an idea. Recently, I was sick too. I could lend you some antibiotics that I used to take. It worked really well. Really? If it worked for you, it must work for me. Yeah, I can bring it tomorrow. Okay, perfect. <coughs> okay, please bring me the next. Okay. Mr. Scrooge, come in please. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Scrooge. Hello. I'm Dr. Tavares, who will be here today. Please it's a pleasure, Dr. Tavares. Okay, so <coughs> what seems to be the problem, Mr. Scrooge? Um, lately, I'm not feeling well, I don't have energy, I feel dizzy, my head hurts, I got a sore throat, a running nose. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's, it's been the past few days. Are you experiencing any sort of fever in particular, uh, chest pain? No, no, none of that. And one question, is there anything I could take to get rid of the disease? Antibiotics, maybe? Um, from what I see here, it indicates just the symptoms of a common cold and I don't think that would work. <coughs> but my previous doctor told me to take antibiotics and my grandma had the same thing. She took antibiotics and it worked out fine for her. My... <coughs> Here, the prescription, what uh, seems to happen, this is a common call that uh, what they would recommend is not antibiotics at all, since it doesn't seem to be a bacterial infection. Uh, so I would just recommend to have rest in just liquids. I can prescribe you painkillers, but antibiotics won't work in okay. this occasion. So no antibiotics, then? No. Okay. All right. Well, well, what I can tell you is that uh, you have to go home. You have rest in just liquids, as I told you, and if you don't feel better, come back in a week and we'll have a blood test. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Torres. Bye. Bye. So, did you go to the doctor? Ah, yes, I did, but the doctor was only incompetent and he didn't give me antibiotics. Could you borrow the antibiotics you have? Uh, sure. Let me get them. Here, take thanks. one every five or six hours. One every five or six hours. Say thanks. Who are you? Scrooge! Scrooge! I am the phantom of the past. I have come here to take you! But you don't look like a ghost. It's the 21st century. Ghosts can dress as they want to. As I just said, as I just said, I am the phantom of the past and I have come here to take you to 1928. So you see the consequences of your actions. Come on. Your baby is suffering a severe pneumonia caused by Staphylococcus bacteria. There is no way to cure him yet. How is that possible? Our baby has always been a healthy child. It's not possible. No! I'm so sorry. We will do everything we can to save your child. But doctor, you have to do something about it. Our kid is dying. Please do something. I already told you. We will do what we can. You will have all my sincere support. Yes, I found the compound that can kill Staphylococcus. I will name it penicillin. With this, I can kill lots of bacteria and save many people.
Doctor, I found this compound that can kill Staphylococcus. I call it penicillin. Take it to the baby's parents. They'll be very happy. This is great. I will take it right now. Thank you. I have good news. Penny has discovered penicillin, a compound that will cure your daughter's bacterial infection. Penicillin is an antibiotic that kills Staphylococcus bacteria. She's smiling. Thank you so much, Doctor. We're so grateful. Yes, thanks, Doctor. That right there is your grandmother. If she dies tonight, you will never be born. Now go to sleep. It was only a nightmare. Hello, I am the phantom of the future. Come with me and you will see how bad is the future if you continue taking antibiotics incorrectly. What's going on with this patient? Are there any possibilities to cure him? He's a crucial patient. His bacteria develop resistance to all the known antibiotics due to a previous overuse of his prescription. Not following correctly prescriptions is terribly dangerous. You're the one that was in the bed and now you're going to die because of antibiotic resistance. Now go to sleep. Did the antibiotics help you? Ah, finally, I just took it once and then I had a super weird dream, something really strange. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And when I talked about antibiotic resistance, something like that, I didn't know about it. And when I woke up, I started and uh, looking and looked it up on the internet and looked how many sources I found. Look, the World Health Organization says that it is a major issue that will affect many people. And most important, I found an initiative that is trying to find new antibiotics with students. Um, I, find, I think this, we should spread the word, the word about this and let people know to, that they should consume antibiotics when the doctor say, tells them to do so. Wow, um, I might look it up later. Thanks. Yes, really important. Hey, Dua, how are you doing? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be fine now, but the, um, a colleague gave me antibiotics and I just took them once because then I had a super weird dream, something about antibiotic resistance. And, well, I must tell you that I woke up, I looked it up, and it apparently it's a problem that is going to kill a lot of people in the next years. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, spread the word, spread the word. Uh, no people, uh, let the people know that um, it's an issue and to take, and that they should take antibiotics when the doctor tells them to do so. Okay, okay, see you later, man. Bye.